Welcome to another round of my little guitar demo series. Today I have, of course, something special for you to celebrate the new year. Uh, it's the first video here in the new year of mine. And uh, yeah, I worked some time uh, to convince the owner of this guitar um, that it's an, a good idea to share this guitar with the guitar community because they are very rare. As most of you know, those who don't know, this is a very, very sought after guitar model, uh, specifically uh, of this year. And um, yeah, this guitar popped up here somewhere in Europe. Uh, it's now in Germany and um, it was not treated very well over time. The guitar was in a very bad condition, the owner told me when, when he bought it. And um, yeah, as you can see here in the details, um, uh, the, the knobs, at least one knob has been replaced, or all knobs, who knows. Um, the guitar had a neck repair. This was very common uh, back in the day that the Les Pauls uh, broke the neck at this place. And um, yeah, it was uh, German Luthier Matthias Schindehütte from Frankfurt, Germany, um, who yeah, repaired this guitar in a professional manner. He's one of, of the best you can find here for vintage guitars. And um, yeah, he, he repaired the neck and he also did a refinish uh, of this guitar because the owner told me, and Matthias Schindhörder as well, that um, the former owner or <laughs> whomever removed the collar of this guitar. So it was plain maple, would you believe that? It's unbelievable what people do with guitars, not, especially not knowing which guitar. Uh, anyway, as you can see, this guitar now has a new finish. And uh, from a collector's value, this is, of course, something um, not too good. But what should you do? It's an original 59 and it, it's, it sounds just like a dream. For most, it feels like a dream. Anyway. What I can say is one of the big differences between vintage guitars and um, modern guitars or replicas is that, of course, over time, hardware, electronics, construction methods um, were uh, improved and um, modern guitars therefore feel different in your, in your hands. A vintage guitar feels also very different and uh, I can't... Um, I can't put it into words, that feeling to have a guitar like that in your hands. It's something special. This guitar also has a very nice slim neck, slim shaped neck. Um, it's not this kind of baseball bat. And um, this is something I like, it's a personal preference. And um, yeah, this guitar is just a wonderful player. Whatever you do on this guitar, it's, it's, it's music. Before I babble too much and tell you long stories about a guitar every, everybody knows, uh, I simply let myself inspire by this wonderful instrument. I've uh, prepared two playbacks. I'll start with a crunch playback, and then I also will uh, play over a clean uh, playback I have prepared because many people are not aware. I mean, Les Paul, the inventor of the Les Paul guitar, um, he did invent this guitar for a clean sound in the very first place, back in the days, it was in the early 50s. Uh, nobody had crunch and, and high gain distortion, you know. And this guitar has a wonderful clean sound, I can tell you that in advance. So, uh, yeah, I stop bubbling. Have fun. <laughs>
Yeah, now <coughs> I'm a little bit warmer, and uh, yeah, as you probably heard, this guitar offers cringe-worthy tones. I mean, you don't have to do much. It 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 comes straight in your face. You just lay your finger on the fretboard, and it's a wonderful experience. Um, I'm so thankful that I'm able to play this guitar today, and that I can show you uh, this here in my video channel. So. It's time to say a huge thank you to the dude, to the guy who was so nice to lend me this guitar for today. And what more should I say as a guitar player than you play a D chord in the morning on this guitar and the day is your friend. <laughs> By the way, for this demo, I used a PV Classic 50 watts combo uh, together with this guitar. It's just uh, an immediately working match. Of course, this guitar would sound great with every amplifier, but uh, I'll keep it at that for today. Uh, it's, it's just sounding great for my taste. I hope you like it too. So I come to my clean playback, as I said uh, before uh, in my introduction. Um, the clean tones are very important, at least for me and also for other people when thinking about Les Paul. It's not only a rock guitar, you can make any kind of music on a Les Paul and the clean sound is of another kind. And uh, yeah, have fun.
I hope you heard that this guitar offers very, very good clean tones, and I mean you make music with it. And uh, yeah, it's, it's very sensible, and the pickups are just a dream, an absolute dream. The neck pickup has bass reserve without an end. You have to turn the bass to zero on the amplifier. Uh, if you want bass, you just put a little bit of bass in it and wow. <laughs> well, what should I say about this instrument? It's a uh, cultural heritage, it's a wonderful guitar and uh, it has been brought back to life by um, the owner and uh, Luthier Matthias Schindehütte in Frankfurt, Germany, um, who made a playable instrument out of this. And, um, and it brings joy into the souls of ordinary guitar players. This being said, I wish you lots of musical inspiration and see you next time. Bye bye.